that one? Who fucks? Oh, whatever. There's an enforced holiday today. Um, I actually don't know if the bakery is open. I had taken for granted that there were so many holidays, especially for 2020, um, with the life and safe into yard Friday, I think. Whatever that one. That and then. Uh, so I'm not even sure if the bakery's open today. I mean, they were on King's Day, but I don't know about today. I do know that it's Ascension Day. Yeah, yeah, it's Ascension Day. There's significantly more bikes out than I would expect. But again, I don't know if the bakery's open. Well, that's not a good sign. The butcher's not open. Hmm. Uh, I don't see the signs out in front of the bakery. Damn it! I have to go inside Albert Heine and get breakfast and make it myself. God damn it! Yes, the bakery is not open. But, bonus, I guess, there's a lot more people inside Albert Heine. On the weird side, apparently, other people are not, like, understanding that it's broken today. Just had an old couple walk and they were, like, standing out in front of the door of uh, Kvekabom and they, uh, I couldn't really hear everything, but they were just like, is it closed because of Corona? I'm like, no, it's closed because of Himmelfarzda. Um, <laughs> not. <laughs> and Tomato Pinksterda and all that stuff. Like, it's not closed because of Corona. They're just, everything's closed today because of a strange ass national holiday. Well, it's afternoon. Yeah. It's a nice day. Like, it is just way beautiful. Yeah, I have Pokemon open on my phone. I want to go for a longer walk and I know that I'm just going to wander and probably halfway through my want to walk there it's going to be like, I want to go home, it's hot. It's true. Because <laughs> I kind of want to like not be necessarily on the bike but still out in the sunlight. So I'm probably going to be out in weird areas. The interesting thing is, is that it's a five-day weekend, and this is the actual holiday. Four-day. Uh, Four-day weekend. There's a track of them. And so, like, everyone's out in Oster Park, so I'm not going to be going in there. Like, except, I, I don't know. We'll have to see. So, it looks like Beer Town is setting back up so that come June, they can start setting things up, making sure that on the half of May, they got the yada, I don't know. I'm not sure how they're gonna do it inside. Beer Town's very cramped on the inside. Very cramped. Um, but who knows? It's definitely one of those bars that is um, wide selection of beers. Wide selection of beers and is definitely going to try to uh yeah like they cram as many people in as possible because i guess that's like oral i guess maybe that's just sort of how it is hazelle get people all crammed in together and every like you can't help but overhear somebody else's thing maybe i'll walk up to azart line rather than go into downtown i literally just called it fucking downtown but there's been something kind of bugging my mind the last week. A lot of time sitting around, a lot of time riding the bike. I've put in almost 150 kilometers in the last week, something like that. And this morning I posted something on Facebook that said that I may be, I just have this like way back in my, it's one of those bubbling things. It's like there's a, there's an idea back there. The idea is similar to like, we live here on a much more permanent basis. And, you know, I work as maybe a linebacker coach that, I don't know, travels around Europe and runs camps. I don't know. But, like, then I was like, oh, maybe it's an X year plan. Then I realized that I haven't really actually been a linebacker that long. There are many other people that have been head coaches of high schools that only played four years in total. So, not going to say those. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, but, yeah. I put it out as a 15-year plan. Because, let's see. 39 minus 1, 4, 15, 
in five years it'll be 44, 10, 54. That's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Especially if I can get about 10 more years of solid linebacker under my belt, competing all over Europe. A little boat that just went by. Apparently their whole dock down there just broke. That was, that was strange. Uh, windmill's not turning. We'll be over there later. We're getting burritos anonymous for dinner. I just want to get out, put a lawn chair in a boat and ride it down the canal, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of people out on their boats today. A bunch of shirtless boys on that boat. Nice. So, I'm up here. I've been up here before. Down there is a stop for the 26 tram. It's, uh, it's, I find it cool, despite the fact that the Max line in Portland went through a mountain. <laughs> and so, but this one comes out of Central, stops right there, but it's down because then it goes un into a tunnel and comes up on Zeeburger Island and then continues down Iber and all that jazz. Okay, that's what the cheering was. I wonder if there's a big event going on or just a group, big group of people. They are doing, well in the States we'd call it, they're playing a game of horse with a basketball. I'm not sure what the Dutch call it. You know you're in the Netherlands when your houseboats have solar panels. I mean, it's pretty easy to, you know, socially socialize and social isolate. That's what Aaron does. Social distance on boats or paddle boats. I swear to God. But uh, Aaron did tell me to relax a little bit. Stop being so angry about what's making me pissed off. And I'm like, I would. <laughs> really would. That's kind of why I'm walking is to get the energy out. But the fact that he's like, it's a really beautiful day out and wasn't ever planning on leaving the apartment all day. Like, this is the thing. There's social distancing and there's social isolating. I don't want to be the one going out and having fun. Well, he sits at home and has fun. And that the only time we really do something fun together is because we stay at home and do an indoor game. As I got here, the ferry pulled up. Yeah. I'm at the back, I'm at the back this time. It's a little bit more full. Most people want to see where we're going. So, sorry guys, you've seen most of this on the last video. But, at least I can turn the camera now and show you tiny little islands. KNSM Island. Uh, many, many, many other, just so many islands. But I mean, this thing books it pretty well. Got a lot of idle shipping boats out there. That's the bridge that I crossed from Zeeburger Island to get over to Nord. And then I came around the other side, went through this whole area, and then came back and crossed this ferry to get back to Azar Flying. Way back over there. Speedboat! Ish. Yep, we're getting close to the shore. Container ship.
So, yep. Uh, I'm starting to be convinced that when you're this close to sea level, um, the sun feels a little different. I mean, it's like upper 70s right now, and I'm, I'm roasting. Like, to the point where it's like, damn, I picked the wrong shorts. Um, also, I figured if I'm going to be in the sun and I'm going to be trying to even out my farmer's tan, I might as well burn everywhere. You know, it's, uh, it's Ascension Day. So I'm walking through Nord. Uh, I'm walking through a very weird section where, like, nobody is. <laughs> I walked through an area that was uh, um, a bunch of people on park benches, and that's when I realized, you know what, fucking take your shirt off. You aren't the whitest guy here. You're laughing, Javon. I know you are. <laughs> I checked out a couple of your videos. I know what you look like. Or at least if you're one of the people on that video, I have an idea. Yeah. All right, put the shirt back on because I was walking through a section of town and then the ferry just pulled away. So I got like 20 minutes. Uh, The fence wasn't in the way, I'd say I caught that on film. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I do, I do kind of like this building. How there's like that staircase that's in glass that goes up to that weird little thing. It's like this building here just definitely looks like it got pieced together. And if I remember, I see like, yeah, it, it, it's cute. It's a, it's a bunch of various little buildings. Oh, there's a dance school here, apparently. Huh. Tribute to our superheroes. Nurses and doctors. Awesome. But yeah, there's like plants up in there. And I think there's something that looks like a greenhouse on the other side. Yeah, yeah, I was right. See how there's like a greenhouse up there? Actually, my eyes can see that it actually is a greenhouse up there. That's super cool. But yeah, that's it for today. Um, Aaron and I are running into some issues with uh, getting a hold of some green. So we're trying to avoid tobacco and stuff. And they're like, well, it all has tobacco in it. And like, if that's what he said on WhatsApp. <laughs> that, whatever. I wish after a fashion I had people tiered socially. <laughs> If I just walked around with them and talked, that's it. I don't need to play games. I don't need to go to football practice. Half the time, what this is, is I just need somebody else to talk to. And I fear, fear, I'm just gonna talk the heads off of the guys at the gym. Because I, I find myself wanting to talk to the ladies at the bakery, but fear Clanton and the Winkle and all that jazz. <laughs> it's a really craving social contact now. Maybe I could get something to drink from Dare for Borderai. Hmm.